the Joe Rogan experience. Australia is a mess in that in that sense, like wildlife wise, because there's so much, so many things that are invasive. This last time we were there for the first time, I actually went to a uh, sanctuary, one of those places, and uh, with uh, Jeremiah and Joel, and we had a blast, man. There are some crazy animals down there. We held a uh, a koala bear, took a picture with a koala. L- mm. Let me tell you, every uh, I feel like the American version of that animal seems like so cute and like soft and light. It feels like a stuffed animal. What we think a koala is, and we went we t- we went to take a picture of this thing, and this lady handed me this koala. It was like it felt like it it, it was tiny, right? Same size that I thought it would be, but the <laughs> thing was like fucking three bowling balls. It was just so heavy and it's a bear it's a real bear and this is the thing <laughs> and exactly we call it a koala oh it's a koala but it, yeah but the we the, it should be illegal to say it without the word bear attached to it because right. let me tell you this fucking thing they have to feed these things eucalyptus leaves the entire time that's all it eats well what they didn't what they, what i didn't know is that th- that's all it eats and that's all it does like the second this thing is done with with one of the eucalyptus leaves they have to hand it another one because you can feel its energy change it turns its head and it gets like a fucking little bit of a look like it, they, these things like ready to fuck you up you have to just keep feeding this these are like can, the drug addicts on an iv drip that are starting to feel pain the second they don't have the drip oh, of course like how much nutrition is a goddamn eucalyptus leaf they probably have to eat them. They yep. have to stuff themselves with it. Yep. And they're solid as a rock. So think about all that they must, you know. Oh, my God. And, you know, their claws. It's just a, it's a real bear, man. Which w- it wasn't until I held that koala in which I realized the true power of an, what we consider an actual bear. Oh, my God. Because it's like that thing's this big. Right? right. And it felt like that. It was that strong and sturdy. And they're in their hands and everything you feel everything it it makes it to say it's a ball of muscle would be a tremendous understatement and honest to god man i thought we were gonna go take pictures with these koalas because they have the little (laughs) girl zoo keepers and they seem super comfortable and they're giggling and happy and everything but it ended up being a serious situation i was scared i was that's I hilarious. Was very scared. Jeremiah kept making fun of me because of how scared I was. I'm like, I'm good. She's like, you want to take a group picture with all of you in the bear? I'm like, nah, that was enough. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's You know, they're right now, because of a gigantic wildfire in Australia, they've become functionally extinct, which means that 80% of their range has been destroyed by wildfire. So you didn't find anything on that. I think I my numbers are right. <clears throat> if you see, um, oh, there you guys. Yeah, that's us. Look uh, how far away I am. Look at my hand. My good. hand's on Jeremiah's <laughs> hand. Good, because he's thinking about biting you. Look. <laughs> it is like fucking Tony. <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. It's like ready to bite you, bro. Look. Oh, you guys are and all I'm telling you, with each other. That's you, a little weird. You can't tell. There's this the final result. <laughs> Jeremiah and that dude break off. <laughs> Start looking. We're literally <laughs> laughing about that as it's happening. Like, Yeah, think of, was, see if you can pull up the article on them, uh, koalas now functionally extinct in Australia. Because uh, I think 80% of their range has been destroyed. And, you know, you're talking about the only places where they can live and breed, and there's a giant population of them. Koalas aren't functionally extinct, but they need our health. Well, what did it say? Well, this is one scene that see Google koalas are functionally that's extinct. That's what I did. I looked it up, and that's what popped up. And these things stink too, by the way. I I I was obsessed with the smell of eucalyptus. I have- so there's all these new articles that say they aren't extinct. Okay, so you know what it probably was? I probably got caught up in some scientific clickbait. Here's the one that says they may be as of May, so they people okay. updated it. But it was really recent. Where, where are these ones coming yeah, from? CNN. These are you're looking at older ones from no, May. Man. See CNN, how everything's from New May. York Times, Forbes, yeah. National Geographic. No, no, no. Look, I'm not oh. saying you're wrong, Jamie. Yeah. What I'm saying is the older ones, when they're saying they were functionally extinct, was from May, which doesn't totally make sense because were there that many fires in May? Because aren't these fires, fires like real recent? Well, there are a bunch now, yeah. So, so most most of them are saying no, koalas aren't functionally extinct. I guess, yeah, it says after there were bushfires, it overstated claims. Okay. Yeah, so that's what you got to wonder about today, man. Anytime you read an article, like, I didn't even read it, right? I just read the, the mm-hmm. head, the heading. That's what they. That's how they're getting you with everything. That's clickbait. And it's almost like they have to do that. Like, if you have a great article, but it doesn't have a catchy headline, 
How much? How many people are gonna? It's almost you have you have to come up with something that's almost a lie. Yeah, you have to get their attention. You have to at least give them the little bit that my, the article might not even be about. You just have to get them to click. It's like a salesman or a sales job. Or how often does Australia have fires? If they have one, a giant one in May, and they have another giant one now. And I was watching a show, some, some um, show from Australia with some dude was losing weight, like some fitness show. You know, his uh, his his uh, wife got him to go on this show when he's losing all his weight and he has to do all these exercises and shit. And while they were there, they were worried that they were going to have to evacuate because these giant fires were coming their way. I'm like, how often is Australia on fire? Hmm. And when that place is on fire, that's a huge place with not that many people. Right. That, that, equivalent. That's, that's exactly. Oh! How much has been burned equivalent to a map of America? That's insane. New York. Dude, it. that is insane. That's insane. We're looking at most of Manhattan and then a, a giant chunk of New York State, a giant chunk of Pennsylvania. It looks like New Jersey's completely engulfed. That's nuts. Wow. That's a huge patch and all out into the ocean as well. So that's the thing. Like if you look at it that, if you pulled way back at the entire continent and looked at that little square, it wouldn't look as big. Wow, look at that. Or you can move Pittsburgh it. to Cleveland. Yeah, in, in but go rectangle. go way back. Go no, go no, go way small so you could see like the whole continent. So that's how you got to think of Australia. So that's how Australia looks at it. Eh, hopefully you get out on his own. Right. <laughs> Not much we can do about it. <laughs> you got to get rid of his fucking buffalo. <laughs> Wouldn't but, it be fun to just get dropped off somewhere like that with a bunch of just like 30 days worth of stuff in a backpack to survive and just sure. be lost? Except if you break your ankle. Right. And then you're wondering if you're going to die this way. That could be the future of vacations, right? Australian Just throw a little fact, fact check. Are this year's fires unprecedented? Conservative commentators have pointed out a long history of brush fires, suggest there is nothing unusual about this season. Experts disagree. So it's even worse this season. Yeah, that's a big chunk of land, man. <laughs>